Great to be with you, Peter Bowles, here, cardiologist. Now, if you've been admitted into hospital with a condition known as congestive heart failure, well, then I urge you to have a chat with your healthcare professional about the nature of the medications you've been discharged with and perhaps consider some medications that you may not have been discharged with that could be useful for you. Now, we've had a separate video in the past about congestive heart failure. And essentially what heart failure is, is a condition whereby the heart muscle itself is unable to perform its usual actions and duties. Essentially, it is unable to pump efficiently to ensure that the blood is ejected out to supply oxygen and nutrients to the rest of the body. But also, it can happen when the heart is unable to relax appropriately and the heart itself starts struggling and therefore symptoms develop. Now, the symptoms are broadly categorized as those that contribute to something called congestion. Now, of course, we know congestion happens as a result of the accumulation of fluids in our body, and that causes shortness of breath. It makes us feel tired, run down. Many of my patients before coming into hospital, in fact, report that they're unable to lie flat in bed, and many sleep in an armchair for a couple of nights prior and really can't take it any longer and end up coming into hospital. Other symptoms might be what we know as peripheral edema or swelling of the feet, ankles, legs. You might also have a very abrupt weight gain, and that is often the sign of fluid building up. And over time, that can create a sense of being unable to breathe, and then patients often have to present to hospital to be treated. Now, the treatment in hospital is usually giving you medication called diuretics that act on the body to release and reduce the amount of fluid building up. So you end up passing a lot more fluids and urine, and that eases the congestion and improves your symptoms. Now, traditionally, the way we manage congestive cardiac failure is a strategy of going slow with many medications and slowly increasing the doses over several months. Now, recently in the United States, there was a study published and presented at the American College of Cardiology that looked at a very large patient population of more than 33,000 patients. And these patients had presented acutely into hospital with congestive heart failure symptoms and were followed up after discharge. There are several gold standard medications that we know are proven to help symptoms, but also help improve outcomes in congestive heart failure. And these patients were assessed. And interestingly, four out of every five of the patients were eligible to be on four of these medications that are proven. However, only one in six patients were actually discharged on these medications. So there's obviously a source of improvement that we can make. Now, there are many reasons why you may not be sent home on these medications, and some of these might include your blood pressure being very, very low, or you might have had an intolerance to some of these medications. But there are four medications that we know are proven to reduce the likelihood of you coming back into hospital and improve your overall well-being. Now, what are these four medications? Let's review them. First class of medication you might have heard of are ACE inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor blockers or a newer version of these called Entresto. And these medications improve heart function to reduce symptoms and improve your overall well-being and prognosis. Essentially, people who are on these medications live longer. So ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and some of these names are perindopril, enalapril, ramipril. They're the pril drugs. We also have the angiotensin II receptor blockers, such as valsartan, 
candesartan, talmasartan, herbisartan. They're just some examples. And then we also have the newer version called Entresto, which is a combination of valsartan and another class of medicine if you are already managed with something like an ACE inhibitor and you are still not responding, then you should be considered to transition over to the newer class or the, the medication called Entresto, which is more likely to be beneficial if you haven't responded to previous therapies. The other class of drug is beta blockers. Now, beta blockers, well, you might have heard and read and seen a lot about beta blockers and often they are negative and often they do cause symptoms and tiredness and lethargy and reduce your heart rate. But in congestive heart failure, they improve well-being, improve prognosis, reduce the amount of work that your heart has to perform and therefore that gives it more time to remodel and to improve. So beta blockers is the other important class of medication. Thirdly, there's a class of diuretic or medication that we use to help rid you of fluid that builds up in excess, and that is called spironolactone, or these are mineralocorticoid medications. Spironolactone, eplerinone, they're the two major ones in common use. In addition to reducing the amount of fluid in your body, what that medication does is it's proven to reduce the chances of you coming back into hospital with congestive heart failure and also improves your overall well-being. And finally, another newer class of medication known as SGLT2 inhibitors. Now, traditionally, these medications have been used for diabetes and they improve blood sugar control and they also improve kidney function. But we've seen that they are also a great aid in helping patients with congestive heart failure. Whether your heart is actually not pumping efficiently or is weaker, or if it's not relaxing appropriately, this class of drug is proven to improve your overall well-being. So they are the four classes of medicines that I urge you to have a chat with your healthcare professional about. Ask, are you on these four classes of medications? If not, should you be on these medications and will they have a benefit for you? So as I've always wanted this channel to empower the audience to go out, have a chat with your healthcare professional, I can't provide you individual information and advice about your condition, but all I can say is if you've been diagnosed with congestive heart failure, go out, have a chat, review your medications, discuss what medication might be appropriate for you and whether these medicines might be useful in your situation. Until the next video, bye for now.